What's shaking, baby? We got to turn that mic a little bit. Oh, spooky dude's up in his crate, man. He's looking right at me like, are we about to go have a party? No, dude, we're not going to have a party. I got to record like 50 bajillion diary of his songs today. So I apologize if you hear him walking around or whining. Ooh, big stretch, spooky dude. Yeah, he's all excited. No, stop it. Stop it, dude. All right, Diary of a Song. We're at episode number four. It's going to be Little Miss Rainy Day. Also, I hope you guys are having a good day. Zach Pryfogel, thanks for leaving a comment. The transfer portal this year is wild. It's rather crazy, if I do say so myself. Anyways. Um, Little Miss Rainy Day. Uh, Nick actually said that this was his favorite. I thought it was Nothing Was Sweeter, but now I remember him telling me. He always tells me, like, you should make more songs, like, from the blue light. And to a degree, I get what he's saying, and I think that a large part of who I see myself as, as an artist, is to be found in the blue light, uh, especially with Little Miss Rainy Day. It's The piano was the first thing. Did I tell you guys that, that the piano was the first instrument I ever learned? Um... And that song's basically all piano. I will give you... I know... I actually don't have this Logic project, believe it or not. That's how disorganized I was when I made the blue light. That I, like, finished the song and somehow lost the Logic project for the song. That's crazy, dude. I'd never do that now. No, I'd definitely do that now. But I like to think that I wouldn't still do that now. What is it, dude? He'll lay down here in a second. But it was inspired by... How did I get the name Little Miss Rainy Day? Little Miss... I don't know. I had had a thought about talking about April showers and May flowers. Not like the pilgrims, like flowers that grow in May. Um, And I actually don't know. I know that the song itself, if you've heard a song called Marty Bum by Arctic Monkeys, that is who... The chord progression of the chorus is the same. And if you actually listen to the song, it's melodically, it's very similar. But mine is slowed down. Hey, like Drake said, man. Drake just... Here's what happened. Drake said, it's not about who did it first. It's about who did it right. Well, either him or David Bowie said that. And then the other one said, it's not about who did it first. It's about who did it better. Which, I mean, there's such a truth to that. It's like, hey, you ripped off my idea. It's like, imagine if someone made an iPhone that sucked, and then Steve Jobs and Steve Wozniak and that whole crew came along and just made it a lot better. Well, of course, it's like, hey, that was my idea, and it's like, maybe, like, I don't know, is it? Like, what's better, the initial thing or the innovation? You know what I'm saying? Nick Nick and I actually talked for a while the other day about that. Like, it's easier to go from one to plus one than it is from zero to one. And so I used to always think you had to start at zero. But then since I started starting at one, like, I would say I did that with Little Miss Rainy Day a thousand percent because I loved Marty Bum by Arctic Monkeys. I wasn't even into that album. It's their first album. Whatever people say I am, that's what I'm not. Can you hear a ghost just whining? Hey, dude, it's okay. And then I just like that chord progression so much. Like I said, I just sang my own words over that melody. And then that was what the song became. It's actually a lot longer. I realize now when I listen back to the blue light, I, li- I realize like two or three things. One, that there aren't really that many drums on there because I was afraid to program drums because I knew I wouldn't be that good. And that's still probably the biggest thing I struggle with now. But at the same time, that can be you can use that as room for improvement and experimentation since you don't know the answer. That's both like a good and a bad thing. So the drum programming is probably the biggest thing because Little Miss Rainy Day doesn't have any drums. Every song has like 15 intros and outros. I mean, especially with Little Miss Rainy Day, like you have the final chorus and then there's like another like minute and a half of the song, which is crazy. Because I would do the complete opposite now. Like, as soon as the chorus is done, it's like the song ends before the chorus does, almost. And then they're all about the same person. Like, the the chick who shall remain nameless, who inspired a cold alliance. I would say that's kind of who this song is about. I don't really write songs about specific people. I kind of just take events and then either romanticize them or just 
dress them up nicely. It's not like every single line has some specific poignant meaning behind it. Although there are ones. And I'm also going to do a songwriting breakdown of all of them. Just the diary of a song is kind of just how I made it. It came about... This one would have come about in 20... I guess it would have been 2020. Wow, yeah. Did I graduate? Yeah, I graduated in 2021. So this one definitely came out in, or was written in 2020. And then once again, I think this one was also released under Harler. And then, yeah, I released the whole thing under Harler, which was my mom's maiden name. And I did that a year, was that a year ago? No, that would have been, it's December now. Do you ever forget what month it is when you're thinking about, like, how life went? I'm also going to have to do an episode where I just detail, like, the timeline of the Adana. I'm going to do an episode on who the Blue Adana is, the timeline of it. I'm kind of just going to communicate everything. That's something else I've realized, is, like, I understand that, but then I'm just now understanding that communicating it is a way to provide as people say it value, but it kind of just gives it like worth or something. Dude, ghost was whining and everything. And now he's like fast asleep in his crate. Like he's actually like out. I kicked his crate. I felt so bad. I stopped the mic and then I kicked it and I was like, Hey, shut up. And then he had that look like, I'm sorry. I know I'm misbehaving, but Anne went to the laundromat again today. And man, she took his food with him. And I'm like, well, how are you supposed to have I've noticed with any of us, and myself or any of the pets, if we haven't slept, if we haven't ate, or if we need to, like, exercise or something, we start misbehaving. It's crazy, dude. I think having a a dog or even a cat is a great intro to having a kid. Like, if there was an intro to economics class, like, this is the stuff you're about to learn, it's like... That's what having a pet is to having a kid. Granted, I don't have a kid yet, but I'm like, I can hear my mom saying, when whenever we'd hear a baby crying somewhere, or if we were at a party, like a Christmas party, and someone would be crying, she'd be like, oh, he needs a nap, or he's hungry. And sure enough, like, she would, she'd be right about it. And I was like, how do you know that? And she's like, you gotta feed him, and you gotta make, like, my mom is such a wise woman. So is my dad. My dad's the most slept on member of the family, I think. Because he's like a genius here and texting me back about the food. Let's see what she said. <laughs> she said, shoot. I'm sorry, spooky dude. The laundry is in Dawausha. I will get back as soon as I can. You know, he's asleep now. I'll text her that. Also, my dad went to the crew. It's like celebration. They just won the MLS Cup. And he was like, <laughs> he sent one picture of the giant trophy in a group text. And all of his group texts are ones that still have my phone number and not my iCloud email, which is the only way I can message people now over the phone, other than FaceTiming them. So I don't get them. And so he'll ask me, like, why didn't you do this? And I'm like, you didn't text me. You texted my old phone number. But he texted, it's called Us5, which Olivia, we all loved the name of it, but Olivia loved it the most, I think. And she named the group chat Us5 because Anne, my mom said it, when Anne was like becoming a part of the family and now she's it's crazy dude she's like a part of our family but my dad sent a picture of the MLS trophy and my mom just immediately texted back no Tom and it was so funny because I could just hear my mom saying that this it was truly a prime Carol Britt moment and then Anne and I had a good laugh about it and then back to little miss rainy day you know that these things are not going to be linear at all. I mean, come on. I, I say that I'm going to give you a linear synopsis of the Blue Adana, but unless it was written out, there's even then, you know, there'd be 15 tangents. I would say it was inspired by the same person. A lot of the songs are, like you'll know, Queen of Spades, When the Lonely Hour Strikes, Raspberry Rain, 43220. Um, yeah, pretty much all of them, except 43201. And... Yeah, wow. They were all about, like, the same thing. Except for 43201 and the Blue Light, which are, like, my two favorites. Anyways, the Blue Light's next, so, you know, just after this episode, just go listen to the Diary of a Song about a Blue Light. All right, the Diary of a Song about Little Miss Rainy Day. We are now wrapping that sucker up, putting a bow on it, as always, and uh, stay tuned. There will be more to come, and as always, do 
ain't no way to the end of day. Mofo better come out here and show me, show me. Ain't no way, way to the end of day, day. Mofo better come out here and show me. Damn. <laughs>